Good morning, fellas. Welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. Arsenal at home. Now, just before we crack on, this video is very kindly sponsored by Surfshark, who we'll talk about in a little bit. But anyway, the game today. Um, our last game was West Ham away last week. It just didn't really happen, did it? I don't think there was a lot in the game. I think Steven Gerrard said the game sort of just came down to a couple of moments where we switched off and West Ham capitalised. Look, they're a great side. They're going for Champions League. It just didn't quite happen for us. I think as the season's sort of fizzling out, I just think we've got to get a bit of momentum going into the next season. I think, look, we're ninth at the moment. Could we possibly catch Wolves with a game in hand and obviously we've still got to play them as well. There's your target but realistically, just, just keep those single figure places. I'd take anything from ninth and above now. Arsenal are a great side though. I think they lost to Liverpool in the week but before that they'd won their previous five and they smashed us earlier on in the season in one of Dean Smith's last games where we were horrible. Obviously that time where we beat them at Villa Park behind closed doors with that Trezeguet goal that was unbelievable. Oh! Trez! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! I have been struck down by COVID this week, unfortunately. I'm absolutely fine. I will be all good for the game. Um, so I'm looking forward to going out again. But just before we crack on to the game, here's a quick message from our video sponsor. So this video is very, very, very kindly sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the data sent between your device and the internet. A VPN also changes the real location of your device to a new one, meaning you can virtually travel across the globe. Have you ever been into like a pub or a bar or a cafe and connected to their free public Wi-Fi? Well, they can be a goldmine for hackers and a VPN protects all of your personal information when you are using those public Wi-Fis. And it basically just stops people seeing what you're doing on the internet because we're all private people, not in a weird way. You just like to be safe and private online. And like I mentioned earlier, you can genuinely change the location of your device. For example, you ever been scrolling through Netflix and you can't watch your favourite shows or dramas or films because they're only available in the US, for example? Well, Surfshark allows you to change the location of your device so you can't access all the shows that aren't shown here in the UK. And you can, of course, use my code VILLARONTOUR to get 83% off and three extra months for free. And if you're not so keen on it, that's absolutely fine. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so genuinely zero risk in this. I use it myself. It's fantastic. So please go and help me out. Go and help the channel out. Use the top link in the description, go and check out Surfshark. I like the team, Consa comes back in, um, he got, he's gone back to the 210s, Wendy comes in. I don't mind that because he was very, very good at West Ham when he came on. Prediction, I'm going to go 2-1. We've got a decent record against Arsenal recently. I'm going to go 2-1. And um, I don't know, I've just got this confident feeling. They're a very good side, but I just think we can cause them a little bit of an upset today. Jamie, what are we thinking, son, today? Uh, I'm, not as, I'm not as confident as you. I'm going to say 1-0. One 1-0. All. One all. Well, you you probably take a goal. draw. Yeah, I take a point. They're very good. I don't, they lost to Liverpool, but they were in a lot of form before Yeah. That. What a day for it, by the way. 15 degrees, tropical, mate. Absolutely tropical. They win it first. It's an easy goal, man. It's got all the time in the world. What is going on here? Ref's lost his head. Absolutely lost his head. Ref's lost it. The ref has absolutely lost it here. How bad was that? Yeah, not great. Uh, it's a bit boring, I'm not going to lie. Um, what do you think of the ref, man? He's like, just every, yeah, si every single tackle. Every single tackle, yeah, foul. No matter if you win the ball. Yeah. Watkins, isolated. He's by himself, yeah. You know no what? support. If you're going to pump the ball forward, you need to have two strikers. What's the point in going back to the 210 system when you, your striker's isolated, you're pumping the ball forward? I don't really understand, to be fair. Wendy and Coutinho had nothing. 
Yeah, I'd say maybe take Wendy here off. He hasn't done a lot. Bring Ings on. Yeah, you need you need Ings for that support up front because Watkins has just been so so isolated. They've had nothing going forward. Um, Arsenal controlling the ball extremely well. Fair play to them. They move around really well. Saka's causing serious problems. Um, Young can't really handle it. Midfield's nowhere to be seen. Louise is getting run through. Um, crap. It's really, really crap. Um, what did you do off the bench though? Bailey, a bit of pace. Danny Ings to give a bit of support to Watkins up front. Just need a bit of something because so far it's been rancid. Defensively we're getting torn apart. Giving the ball away far too often in silly areas. Shocking mate, shocking. We need a vast improvement in the second half. Come on you better boys. Corner ball. Nah, man. It's better. We've had a shot. We're still giving the ball away far too often, but it's, it's better. Oh, man. No way. Hit the post. Hit the post. Ollie Watkins does well. I think it's a corner somehow. Leon Bailey and Bertrand Traore. He's going for it. Come on, then, the Villa boys. After all their time wasted, come on now. <laughs> Free kick, last chance, goal. <laughs> Martinez has gone forward, proper, proper last chance, this is now. What a save, and that's that. Wow, shocking, see you later, ta-da. Right then, um, apologies this video is a little bit late by the way, I would have wanted to get it out last night but I went out with a couple of other lads, um, Dan Bardell and my old man said went out with them, had a couple of drinks to drown our sorrows basically because it was a pretty, pretty rank performance yesterday, I don't think we performed anywhere near the level we know that we can, which is the most frustrating thing. I think it was similar to that West Ham game where we just never ever really got going. Um, obviously he went back to the two number 10s instead of the two strikers, he took Ings out. Probably looking back on it, that's probably the wrong decision. I'll probably go back to the, the two strikers for the next game against Wolves. I just think yeah, Watkins was far too isolated. You're pumping the ball for, forward to him and his holder play isn't the best. We all know that. His first touch was off. It just didn't quite happen and I think that was the problem again yesterday, just going back to sort of the issues we saw in the Watford and Newcastle game a couple of weeks ago, just your first touch being off and just being unable to pass the football um, and just keep the ball. I think Arsenal were good to be fair to them, I think they're very clever, they kept the ball well at times. I think they gave us opportunities though in the second half, we just didn't have that ruthless streak that we are really missing at the moment. I've seen a couple of people say that the substitutions were wrong, I think Troy Ore was horrible when he came on, that header at the end if anyone remembers that was absolutely rank. Leon Bailey. I tried his best, did a couple of things. I think he did well in the West Ham game when he came on, but just just don't change the game as much as we need them to. Obviously, our next game is Wolves. Um, we all know what happened to them on Friday night. Uh, they fell apart, but that'd be a tough game. Always, always are derby games. It's never nice going into an international break when you've come off a couple of a couple of losses, and it's just yeah, the mood's just gone dampened a little bit now. But if you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Interested to see what you guys are saying in the comments below. Download Surfshark. Leave a like on the video, and I will see you in a couple of weeks. See you later.